So last week we did around, if you guys remember, sit around. He didn't. <laughs> so sending your dog around. We've also been working on over, and we've been working a little bit with through. The dog understands through means come through my legs when I'm here, and my knees are bent. So what we can start to do now is we can start to string some of these things together to do little, routines aren't the right word, but like just kind of combining some of these in the way that we do with a puppy push-up. Sit down, sit for one cookie. He said, I sat. <laughs> so I'm gonna send him around, cap around. I'm sitting, so this is a new look for him, so I might have to use some touch. Bent knee always means through, over. So, again, wearing your trusty leggings, gentlemen. Oh, I am out of, I'm in the wrong pocket. <laughs> Where'd they all go? Betty? Captain? Around? Through? Over? Yes. Sit. So you can start to put little things together while you guys are at home. And then the next thing, what we're going to do, I'm going to write down I'm going to show you guys how to write down all the things that you know and start to piece them together. Um, so you can watch that in the next video. But, um, but just see if you can start playing with some of these concepts. What does a round look like to your dog when you're standing up versus here versus here? Um, what can I do with my leg here that's also a through, which is also here? So you can start playing around with these ideas. Get active with your dog. Start training and showing different looks, like different body positions from you with the skills that they already know and start to prove those ideas and see if you can start to come up with some pretty cool combinations. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Uh, send me some videos on what you guys are working on and we'll hopefully see you guys next week.